Hey VC, it's uh, Jonathan, the Cheap and Cheerful Record Collector. Um, I did a video the other day, and this is basically part two of that same video. I just had so many records that I got recently, I couldn't squeeze them all into one video. So, I've been having a lot of good luck at uh, Goodwill and uh, flea markets and um, uh, antique malls recently. Uh, again, everything's uh, five bucks and under, so uh, you don't have to spend a lot of money to create a great record collection. First one I got, this was a $2 find, knew nothing about it, looked interesting, and for $2 I figured I'd give it a shot. Never heard of this before. The album was called The Warrior, and it's by Lippi and Tom Tambia, featuring Margaret Singana. So I looked this up. It's actually recorded and pressed in South Africa, 1973. Uh, Afro pop um, has a gatefold. Sorry, a little bit of nudity in the gatefold, but that's what it was. And actually, I'm going to pop it right on now. So if you take a listen, you can hear it in the background from now on. I meant to do this earlier. Sorry about that. So. Turns out to be actually a really interesting record. I really like it. Um, way before Paul Simon thought about doing stuff like that. So this was a great find. How it ended up in uh, Maine from South Africa, I have no idea. But there you go. Next one I picked up, um, the best of Gabar Zabo. Great uh, South American guitar player. Some of the stuff's a little bit cheesy on the record. I mean, not his playing. His playing is superb. There's no doubt about that. But he does, you know, Yesterday, Walk On By, Paint It Black. You know, a little bit cheesy versions of it, but, boy, he can play. So, this is a nice gatefold, except there's a mold on the inside, which I couldn't get off. So, I put it inside a uh, clear out out outer container and got the record separate to keep the mold, mold in the record. That was a good find. Uh, this one I got at a it's an antique mall near here. This guy has always has great stuff. Always two and three dollars each. Usually very clean and some interesting things. So I picked this up. I'd never heard of Don Bias. Didn't know who he was. But when I saw Bud Powell, I figured how bad could it be? And of course, it's a white label promo, which is really cool. Uh, Don Bias turns out to be a, a piano player, and uh, with Bud Powell, so it's great. Really great. I mean, I love love this kind of jazz, so really happy to get that. Another jazz record I picked, mostly jazz today. Uh, another one I got is Duke Ellington, uh, the 1954 Los Angeles concert. Uh, this is on uh, GNP Crescendo, so you know, not the greatest recording, but great uh, Duke Ellington band with uh, everybody, Ray Nance, Clark Terry, uh, Ricky Henrik Henderson, uh, Jimmy Woods, recorded April 13th, 1954. So, this was great. Love that big band stuff. Love Duke Ellington. Um, speaking about big band type music, <clears throat> I saw this. This was a uh, $2 find also. This is Gene Krupa, uh, the Verve's choice, the best of Gene Krupa, so on Verve Records. So, I love that Verve, original Verve label black label and uh, it's got all his uh, greatest hits kind of thing sing 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 I got rhythm big noise from Winnetka drum boogie so that's fun I hope the music's not too loud you can hear me through the uh, African music in the background this one was it was alright I thought it'd be better than it was because of the people on it but uh, it's called touchdown this is by Bob James this was a 1978, nice gatefold, but it's a little bit too, I don't know, what's the word I'm looking for, too crossover, smooth jazz. I mean, it has Ron Carter, Eric Kale, uh, Earl Clue, Hubert Laws, uh, Mango Santa Maria. I figured it's got to be great. It's okay. It's okay. I'm going to keep it in the collection, give it a couple more listens, but not bad. Next one was a real great find. I was really happy to see this. This was a $2 find. This is 
Jug and Dodo. So Jug is Gene Ammons, Dodo is Dodo Marmarosa, who I didn't know anything about either. I looked him up. Uh, sad story, sad life, but a great piano player. Um, a lot of mental illness issues, a lot of alcohol and drug abuse issues, but uh, great player. This was a 1956 recording, uh, one of the last things uh, Dodo uh, ever recorded. Uh, mostly um, a trio, and now and then some duets, but two record set. And thank you, uh, Dale Thomas, for putting your name in the record, cause I, just so I know whose it was. Um, what's also cool about this record, which I didn't realize when I got it, is that it's on white label promo, which is very cool. And then as I was looking inside, I happened to discover that they have Prestige sent out these bios with the record to tell you about each artist. This is about Gene Ammons with a little introduction by Leonard Feather and talks all about the material in the records. And they got two of them, one for Gene Ammons and the other one for uh, Dodo. So I thought that was really cool. I've never seen those in a record with uh, as an insert. So I thought it was really cool to get. Uh, next record, also I saw this and I couldn't believe this was only uh, $2 at Goodwill. This is Piano Solos by Earl Father Hines, called My Tribute to Louis. Him and Louis Armstrong are really close friends, played together for many years. This record on Audiophile Records, it was virtually brand new. I mean, it looked like the gatefold had never been cracked. And Audiophile Records, this thing sounds fantastic. Sounds like it's brand new, like it's never been never been played. It probably hasn't played a couple times, but boy, it was just beautiful. Great piano solos. Love that. Uh, next one, Half Good, Half Bad. I jumped on it because it was Louis Prima, uh, Italian favorites. Turns out it's a two, it's a, one side is Louis Prima, the other side is Phil Brito, who's really cheesy Italian uh, love songs, just really cheesy. But Louis Prima, Louis Prima, so you know, it's, it's great, he's, he's sort of fun. Uh, he does um, Angelina, Please No Squeeze It A Banana, Oh Marie, um, Josefina, so some good stuff. Not the greatest recording, but anytime you can, I can grab a uh, Louis Prima record, I can't say no. Um, sticking my last jazz album that I got is a uh, Stefan Grappelli, Afternoon in Paris. This is a uh, repress, uh, 1980, I think originally came out in the uh, late 60s, early 70s. But this is just great. Um, with uh, Mark Hemmler on piano, Eberhard Weber on bass, Kenny Clark on drums. This is just killer record. Absolutely love it. So then, I don't do classical music. I mean, I enjoy some of it, I just don't do it. I recently got some new speakers and I uh, wanted to see what they could do. So I went out and I found a couple of classical albums that were at the local Goodwill, which you can always find. These were all in really good condition. And the uh, first one I got was Leonard Bernstein conducts the New York Philharmonic, Stravinsky's Firebird Suite, and Tchaikovsky's Romeo and Juliet Overture. Uh, Columbia Masterworks. Sounds fantastic, man. It was so great to hear these new speakers I got just really crank it out. The full orchestra just sounded great. Also picked up this one, which I love. This is Otto Klemperer and the Philharmonic Orchestra doing Mendelssohn and Schumann. This is on uh, Angel Eminence, but what's cool about it, Preston, Germany, and direct metal, direct, uh, direct metal mastering. So no tape, went straight from a recording right onto the, you know, the master to, uh, disc. So that's very cool, and this sounds brilliant. I mean, just fabulous. And the last uh, one I got, just so I could have a couple of classical albums I could hear, was uh, Gerard Schwartz with Los Angeles Chamber Orchestra doing Vivaldi's Four Seasons. This is a gatefold, and again, perfect condition. Looks like it's been made played a couple of times. Um, it's great. So I don't do a lot of classical, but now and then, nice to hear 
a full orchestra and hear what your uh, speakers can do. So that's it for today. Um, ten minutes. I got a couple more seconds. Um, I'll be doing a video next week. I got a um, friend down about two hours away. Uh, got in touch with me recently, and he's moving, and he's giving me four to five hundred albums. I'm going down Sunday to pick them up, costing me nothing except the gas in the car. Uh, said basically 70s and 80s rock, so I'm going to go through them. Maybe I'll do a video when I pick them up and show everybody what I uh, was lucky enough to pick up. Okay, until next time, uh, keep digging, keep looking for bargains, and peace.